This is supposed to be the spiciest pepper in the world. <sighs> Guys, this is actually really hot. Ugh. Why the fuck is this not helping? <sighs> All right, I need you to buckle up today because a new AI tool has just been released that might fundamentally change the game for AI lip sync and talking avatar generation. It's called Stable Avatar, and it's a powerhouse project coming from some of the biggest names in AI research, Food on University, Microsoft Research Asia, and Tencent. Now, we've seen a lot of lip sync tools, right? They're usually limited to about 15 seconds before things get weird. The video quality drops, the face starts to look distorted, the identity just melts away. Well, Stable Avatar makes a claim that sounds almost too good to be true. Infinite length audio-driven video generation. You give it a single photo and an audio file, and it will generate a high quality, perfectly synced video for as long as that audio plays. We're talking minutes, not seconds. <laughs> And here's the part that really got my attention, the part that makes this accessible to so many of us. The developers say you can run this on as little as 3 gigs of VRAM. Seriously. Now, it'll be slow, but it'll run. The full 1.3 billion parameter model without any tricks needs about 18 gigs of VRAM, which is already less than many competitors. And if you use a clever optimization they've included, you can run that same full model on just 8 or 9 gigs. This is a huge deal. But enough talk. The proof is in the pudding, so let's dive into the examples on their project page and really break them down. We'll start with the talking heads because this is where realism is make or break. First up, let's look at this clip. It's a 29-second video of a woman who looks like she's giving a news report. Let's just watch it first. We all have a responsibility to stop the spread of COVID-19. Together, we need to make smart decisions, not only for ourselves, but also for our neighbors. The best way to prevent the spread of COVID-19 is to reduce exposure. That means practice social distancing. This could be a long road. Our modeling suggests that we could be eight weeks from peak infection rates in our state. But if we're diligent, we will get through this. Okay, let that sink in. The first thing you notice is obviously the lip sync, which is spot on. But that's the bare minimum. What you need to look at are the details. Look at her head movement. It's not a robotic bobbing motion. It's a natural, subtle shifting, like how a real person moves when they speak. Now look closer at her earrings. See that? They have their own subtle physics, swaying slightly as her head moves. This tells you the model isn't just pasting a mouth onto a static image. It's understanding the scene in 3B space. Her eyes are blinking naturally. They dart around slightly. It feels completely alive. This is not AI generated. This feels completely real. Now, for this next one, this is a really clever test. They've taken a photo of a woman wearing a face mask. You can't even see her lips. So how can you judge the sink? Well, let's see. Car j'ai un deuxième plaisir euh, très agréable. Ce sont les très bons chocolats. Donc voilà, ça répond à votre... See what I mean? Even though the lips are hidden, the performance is totally convincing. It's all in the secondary motion, the tilt of her head, the slight movement of her shoulders, the expressions in her eyes. The model has generated body language that perfectly matches the cadence of the speech. It understands that talking isn't just about the mouth, it's a full body expression. That is incredibly sophisticated. Okay, let's keep going. Here's a 46 second clip of a male guest. I want you to pay close attention to his eyebrows and his overall expression. The, uh, the president, well, uh, I think there are a number of people who could be highly qualified to be our next Fed, Fed chairman. I don't see any reason why Gary Cohn might not be uh, one of them. Uh, he's a very, very impressive uh, individual. I've had a number of meetings uh, with him. But, you know, there's another, other, a lot of other uh, impressive individuals. Uh, John Taylor from Stanford for individual is an individual who is uh, very impressive as well. Who could Did you see it? As he speaks, his eyebrows move up and down, emphasizing certain words. His expression changes. It's that kind of natural, unconscious mannerism that makes a speaker look genuine. AI models almost always fail at this, making the face look like a stiff mask. But here, the expressiveness is just 
perfect. It's very, very impressive and natural generation. The real test of these models is length. Can they maintain this quality over a longer duration? Well, here's a clip that's 1 minute and 39 seconds long. Let's check a piece of it. As a proud alum of the UW School of Law, I am thrilled that so many students and faculty are joined together tonight at the Park Hotel in Madison. I hope you're all having a fabulous evening. I want to recognize UW Law School Dean Margaret Raymond for all you do to foster an inclusive learning environment for all law students at the University of Wisconsin. I also want to thank the queer law students Incredible. The quality is rock solid from start to finish. The identity is perfectly preserved, the lighting is consistent, and the natural subtle movements of her eyes, face, and head never stop. There's no drift, no degradation. It's just a continuous, high-quality performance. This is what they mean by stable avatar. So those were the talking heads. Now let's move on to the singing examples. Singing is even harder because it requires more dynamic and emotional expressions. And just a heads up, I might have to mute some of these if there's a copyright issue, but you'll still be able to see the animation quality. First, here's the one you've all been waiting for, Elon Musk. They've synced his image to a song. Let's see how it looks. All right, right whale boy, the captain called all hands and swore we take the wheel. So this is pretty cool. The lip sync is definitely there and the body is moving to the rhythm. I'll be honest, the talking head examples felt a little more natural to me as singing expressions can be really exaggerated and hard to capture. But as a technical demo, this is still very impressive. But this next one, this one is on another level. It's a woman holding a guitar and it's not just her face that's animated. Watch this. <laughs> Okay, this is where my jaw dropped. Did you see her hands? Not only is she singing with perfect lip sync and facial expression, but her hands are moving on the guitar fretboard in a way that looks like she's actually playing. The model is creating a plausible interaction with a musical instrument. It's creating this whole story, this entire animated scene from a single image and an audio track. I'm just, I'm blown away by this capability. And they do it again. Here's a guy at a piano. He's animated singing a song, but look at his hands on the keys. Same thing. The lip sync is great, but the interaction with the piano elevates it completely. It's creating this whole story, this entire animated scene from a single image and an audio track. I'm just, I'm blown away by this capability. Now, to prove it's not just for realistic humans, they tested it on this character that looks like a 3D elf. And it works beautifully. She sways to the music, her expression is soft and matches the song's vibe. This shows the model is versatile and can be applied to more artistic and stylized characters, which is fantastic for animation and games. This next example might be the most impressive of all. It's a full body shot of a woman with a guitar and the camera is further back. Pay attention to everything The body movement, the guitar interaction, 
perfect, as we've seen. But did you notice? The curtains beside her are swaying gently as if there's a breeze. The entire scene is animated and alive. This isn't just an avatar tool. This is a scene animation tool. If you showed this to someone, they would have zero reason to believe it was AI. It looks like a completely natural video. Finally, they show off that it can handle multiple people. Here's a man in a car holding a child, and the song has both an adult's voice and a kid's voice. So So, you can see that both of them are animated and singing along. Now, a dedicated tool like Multitalk gives you more control to assign specific voices to specific people. Here, it seems like both are animated to the full track, but the fact that it can handle and animate multiple faces in a scene simultaneously is still a fantastic and very impressive feature. So, how does it stack up against the competition? Well, they included some direct side-by-side -side comparisons. In this first one, they take the same input and run it through all the top models, Multitalk, Omni Avatar, Hunyan Avatar, Fantasy Talking, and others. Watch what happens as the frame count gets higher. This is not the end. This is not goodbye. You saw that, right? For the first few seconds, every model looks okay, but after the 400 or 500 frame mark, all the others just disintegrate. Their quality drops off a cliff, turning into a blurry, artifact-filled mess. But stable avatar on the far right below stays perfectly crisp and stable. The difference is night and day. It's the same story in this second comparison with a different song. Famous ones like Omni Avatar simply can't handle long form generation. They fail. Stable Avatar remains rock solid. This is why they named it so perfectly. So, how does it work? What's the magic trick? Well, the problem with other models is something the paper calls latent distribution error accumulation. Think of it like a game of telephone. The first frame is generated based on the audio, the second frame is based on the audio and the first frame, the third is based on the audio and the second frame, and so on. Tiny little errors in each step get passed on and amplified, and after a few hundred frames, the message is completely garbled. Stable Avatar introduces a brilliant new module called a Time Step Aware Audio Adapter. This adapter essentially acts like a supervisor. At every single step of the generation process, it forces the model to look back at the original audio and realign itself. It prevents those tiny little errors from ever building up. It's a constant course correction that ensures the video stays true to the audio and the original identity, no matter how long it gets. And the best news of all, this isn't just some research paper you can't touch. The code was released on GitHub just hours ago. You can download it and run it yourself. They've released the base 1.3 billion parameter model, and they have a roadmap promising to release things like lower training and, most excitingly, a stable avatar pro model in the future. So what we're seeing today, as incredible as it is, is just the beginning. To quickly recap the tech specs for you power users, generating a 5 second 480p video takes about 3 minutes on an RTX 4090. With optimizations, it can be dropped to 9 gigs or even 3 gigs for slower generation. And get this, the paper states it's 10 times faster than Omni Avatar while using about half the memory. Faster, more efficient, and better quality. It's the total package. All the links to the paper, the project page, and that all-important GitHub repo are down in the description. I highly recommend you check them out. I am genuinely stunned by this release. This feels like one of those moments where the entire landscape shifts. So, what do you guys think? Are you as impressed as I am? What would you use this for? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.